So remember guys, with questions like this, you wanna make sure that your denominators are all factorized. So this part here can still be factorized. And that's gonna be x plus three, not x plus, oh no, it is x plus three and x plus two, good. And then the rest is all factorized already. So now the common denominator is just going to be x plus 3 and x plus 2. So we can say here lowest common denominator x plus 3, x plus 2. So if we do our restriction, we can say that x plus 3 must not equal to 0, which means that x must not equal to negative 3. And then we can also say that x plus 2 must not equal to 0, which means that x must not equal to negative 2. Okay, so now we need to get the denominators to all be the same. So this one still needs, or this whole part actually, needs to be multiplied by x plus 3. And this whole part needs to be multiplied by x plus 2. So that's going to look like this. We're going to have 24x over x plus 3 and x plus 2 equals to 2x plus 1 multiplied by x plus 3 over x plus 2 multiplied by x plus 3 plus 7x minus 3 and that needs to be multiplied by x plus 2. Okay guys, so now the denominators are all the same so we can ignore them, we can cancel them out and then remember just copy down whatever you have, don't do anything fancy just yet. So that's going to be equal to 2x plus 1, x plus 3, plus and then bracket 7x minus 3 and x plus 2. Now we can go multiply out, so we'll end up with 24x equals to 2x squared plus 6x plus x plus 3 plus 7x squared plus 14x minus 3x minus 6. Okay, so now I'm going to simplify on the right, so 2x squared plus 7x squared is going to give me 9, 6, 7, 21, 18. So that's going to be 18x and then minus 3. Then I can bring the 24 over, so we end up with 0 equals to 9x squared plus 18x minus 24x minus 3. And so 0 is going to be 9x squared minus 6x minus 3. You don't have to do this, but, oh no, you don't have to do anything. Never mind. So you can just use the quadratic formula now. I'm going to quickly get the answers for us because you guys know how to do that. I'm not going to waste our time. And so what we'll find is that x would eventually equal to 1 or x would equal to negative a third. So what we do now is we make sure that that doesn't match any of our restrictions. No, it doesn't. And so that is our answer.